Today on Easy On Cars, I'm back at it. With all of my turbo oil problems suspectedly resolved, it's time to get this thing out of this oily garage and go for a drive. The lack of smoke pouring out and oil dripping off the bottom tells me our turbo transplant was a success. Now it's time to clean this thing up. Uh, go turn it on. Yep, I'm gonna go turn it on. I'll be right back. Oh, that's not good. Here comes the soap. All right, dip your thing in. Let's get the car. My plan for today is to start making the rest of my exhaust. I've got some catalytic converters to install. Uh, I've got some mandrel bends to cut. And hopefully by the end of today, my exhaust is less loud and it's not pointing directly kind of at the bottom of where your feet sit in the car. So that'll make me a lot more comfortable taking it for longer drives, such that you know the really hot exhaust gas is not pointing kind of anywhere near the bottom of the car. I probably won't get it the full length today, um, but I do have a, a glass pack that I'm going to use as a resonator, and I'm kind of curious to see how it sounds with just that. So I would like to start fabricating and get all the way to the having that glass pack installed. That's quite a bit of work, so I probably won't make it quite that far today, but we'll try.
in your mind. So I'm in the middle of uh, day two of welding together the exhaust uh, past the manifolds and uh, I've started to use some flanges and I can show you those guys here. These are called Marmon flanges. They're a lot like V-band, um, just a band that goes over here and holds them together. It did come with graphite gaskets you can stick in there, which I will be using. Um, some people say these don't leak. Um, I know. It's claimed that some people have problems with V-bands leaking, but these should be good to go. And I was just really able to really turn up the heat and weld that, so it turned out fairly nice. Happy with that. Just enough penetration on the inside that shouldn't be uh, having to worry about that. Now just uh, time to weld the other side and make sure all the pipes fit. All right, let's take a look. I roughly have the exhaust in place on this side. So obviously to the turbo and then back, this is the part I'm finishing up. And yeah, so just got it tacked in place. That's how it's gonna meet the cat. You can see over here on the other side, I have it coming down, hold it up to the Marmon flange and then the cat. So. I need to make some support for this and then pretty soon here we will be able to take it to the Y. I might move my wideband sensor to where the Y is back there. That way uh, it's not just on um, the one side of the engine. That way I could get both sides of the engine. Not that it really matters that much. So that is the current state of underneath the car.
right, so it's the next day or day three of making my exhaust. I've been taking my sweet precious time with this. Uh, just because I don't want to work too hard. <laughs> Being a little bit lazy. Yeah, so basically I have the cats up to the cats done. And now from there I need to make the rest of the pipe going all the way back. Hopefully I can do that this morning. It's not going to be that difficult. I just need to join the two into one with the Y merge and then... I have pretty much a straight shot the rest of the way back uh, with the three inch pipe, so that's what I'm working on. A lot of my exhaust is just mild steel, which can get exposed to the elements and start to rust. I decided to hit it with high heat primer and then high heat paint afterwards. With this exhaust fabricated, the car will pollute less and sound more civilized, and I won't feel bad if I drive it at night. For now the exhaust ends at the glass pack, but coming up on Easy On Cars will change the transmission and the clutch. Take it easy, Easy On Cars.